Corpse Party live action movie. What do I think? If you like horror B movies, you would like the Corpse Party live action adaptation. But this was a terrible adaptation. The anime OVAs did better than this live action movie. I'm not saying this movie's bad, per se. No, it's not bad. But as an adaptation of the Course Party games, it was terrible. Oh, 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 oh my god. Alright, so I'm gonna try to make this as spoiler free as possible because I definitely would recommend for you all to check this movie out. The link to buy this movie is in the description below. And yeah, I really suggest for you all to up actually watch this movie. Um, I would definitely recommend watching this uh, through the Blu-ray because you can get the Mature Audience Edition rather than the um, PG-13 Edition through High Dive. Though, if you're not a fan of gore, definitely do the High Dive exclusive of the um, PG-13 cut of the movie because, well, this movie definitely had some gory moments. Yoshi Kong! Oh my god. Well, um... <laughs> oh, wow. I'm not saying it's bad, of course. No, no, no. This, it's not bad at all. It's just that this definitely did not have that big of a budget. Which, for a movie that, without that big of a budget, it's not that bad. It's not that bad for a movie without that big of a budget. Though, as an adaptation, it definitely lacks as an adaptation of uh, the source material of the Course Party games. Um, the only example I could really say, well, okay, I can, I can say a few things that might be minor spoilers for both the movie and the games, but um, uh, some things that they did alter from the main plotline of the Course Party games is the students are all together in the beginning of the movie. Like, in the beginning of the movie, when they wake up in Tension Elementary School, aka Heavenly Host, uh, they're all together. Wait, what? Is everyone together? Is this it? Everyone's together? Wait, everyone's together. But several times while watching the movie, despite the several times I said, wait, this didn't happen again, I realized they had to do that because this movie was only going to be 93 minutes long, and probably their target audience for this movie are the people who didn't play the game. Like, I noticed that there's a lot of things they left out from the main storyline of the game, like a lot of important details from the game. They do do some references and allusions to the game throughout the movie, but... Overall, plot-wise, they try to make it more towards a general audience. It's weird having everyone began together. Like, I feel like there's a lot of important plot elements that get ruined when everyone's together, because one of the main plot lines of the, you know, main game is everyone trying to find each other. So they totally took out the whole plot line of everyone trying to find each other. I know that most of the time when you try to adapt a video game, especially an anime video game, you're not gonna get that rid of result. Like, this is actually the best result that could've came out of a live action adaptation of Course Party. Like, this was the best result, and I'm not that disappointed. Like, I knew coming in, like, this was gonna be a 90 minute B movie. Like, I was not expecting too much, and yeah, I got what I, exactly what I expected. Though there were some very, very high moments in this movie. Like, um, the actors were surprisingly really good. Oh my, oh my god. That is. Oh my god. That is so... That is so devious. Oh my god. I have to say my favorite uh, person in the movie, like, my favorite person to watch, like, not per se, um, 
I liked what they did in the movie, per se. Like, they did some very questionable actions that were slightly off-character for them. But the actress I liked the most in her way of portraying the character would have to be Nozomi Maida as Ayumi Shirozaki. She did a great job as Ayumi. Like, I have to say, I really liked her depiction of Ayumi, and I believe she has a YouTube channel. And, um, also, I did, like, um... Rina Ikoma's Naomi Nagashima interpretation, like, her portrayal of the character, I really liked it as well, like, it's per se not the best representation of the character, but I still like the way, um, they wrote her character in this movie, because she is actually put in the main character position instead of Satoshi, because in most adaptations, Satoshi is, like, the foreground main character, even though everyone knows, of. Uh, Naomi as basically the main character, though in technicality, Satoshi is the main character. Though, if you think about it in regards of who is the most relevant to the plot and who does the most things for the plot, technically Ayumi and Yoshiki do the most, but at least in this live action movie, um, Naomi and Satoshi actually do things. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely, there was some interesting choices throughout the movie that I was just absolutely astonished by. Like, okay, I'm gonna say this now. Nao Sainoki, not in the movie. Nao Sainoki was cut from the movie. Yes, this is a core st party story without Nao. Nao's not in this adaptation, while well, Kokobiki and Toguchi are there. And for some reason I think Toguchi's a teenager in this adaptation. I'm not for sure, I didn't really get a good look at him while watching the movie, but um... He, as, I can, as you can also guess, he does not last long in this adaptation. <laughs> There's one more thing from the Course Party games that they did not adapt in this movie. Like, they adapted a lot of great scenes for this movie. Like, they even, they even included their own interpretation of No Hard Feelings. Like, yes, they actually did a new interpretation of No Hard Feelings, and holy crap. Of all the scenes of No Hard Feelings, that was the one that got me the hardest. Like, that's the best scene in the movie. <laughs> Oh my god. Okay, this this adds some points to this movie. I, I sidetracked myself before I needed to say this big comment I wanted to say throughout this entire review video. Like, there's one thing that I do want to say right here and now. And yes, this is definitely probably one of the biggest spoilers I can give in this video about this movie. But this needs to be said because this is a course party adaptation. But this is an adaptation that does not have Kizami. Yes, probably one of the, you know, most recognizable characters from Cor Chorus Party, other than Sachiko, Naomi, and Seiko. Kizami is not in this movie. Yes, and Yuka's entire storyline completely changes in this movie, mostly due to the absence of Yuya Kizami. I, <laughs> when I was watching, I was looking forward to seeing Kizami's appearance. I was thinking, okay, how are they going to get Kizami in this movie? Like, in the anime OVA, that just sucks. Like, let's be honest here. Kizami's portrayal in the anime OVA just sucks. So I wondered, how was how is he going to be portrayed in this movie? And... He was not even there. I do have some more comments about some of the things that go down in this movie, and if you guys if you guys ever want me to do a video where I just talk about spoilers from this movie, like just talk about what actually happens in this movie with spoilers, uh, I'll be willing to do that because this movie is definitely an interesting adaptation. I'm just gonna say that now. It's very, very interesting as an adaptation of the course party games. But all in all, uh, for adaptations, this is slightly worse than the anime OVAs adaptation-wise, but movie-wise, this is actually not that bad of a B-movie. Like, if you like, if you like horror B-movies, definitely check this one out. Like, I really enjoyed it. If you're a fan of Course Party, just take my word 
don't think of it as a faithful adaptation. Just think about it as a new interpretation of the story. Just think about that while you watch that, because this is how I came into the movie, and I enjoyed it. As a fan of Course Buddy, I actually enjoyed this movie, because I just took it as an interpretation of the story, and it works as an interpretation. Like, I really enjoyed it. There was definitely questionable decisions character-wise in this movie, but... Hey, as I said, I'm taking this as an interpretation. So yeah, that was the my review of the Course Party live action movie. Um, if I were to suggest an adaptation for you all to check out, um, the best example of adaptation would have to be the Course Party Blood Cover manga written by Toshimi Shinomiya. This is the best adaptation of the games. Like I dare to say that this the book series of Blood Cover is better than the games, I dare to say that. But yeah, um, if you want a good adaptation, check out the manga, but if you want just a, if you just want a fun 90 minutes of a different, um, view on the Course Party series, definitely check out the live-action movies. I'll definitely look into, um, the Book of Shadows movies in the future, and if you guys want me to do that as well, like, I'm definitely gonna watch the Book of Shadows movie, and if you want me to do a review on this channel, I'll do it, if I can find it. That's basically the only condition. If I can find it, I'll I'll definitely do a video on it. But if I can't find it, um, yeah, I can't really do much if I can't find it. But all in all, this was my video talking about the Court Party live action adaptation. Thank you all for watching. Leave a like, leave a comment. Be sure to check out all the links and stuff I talked about throughout this video down below. And I'll see you all next time. Leave a like, leave a comment, I almost dropped my external hard drive, and I'll see you all next time. Leave a like, leave a comment, I almost dropped my external hard drive, and I'll see you all next time. Oh, uh, is this, oh, is this how, um, Book of Shadows begins? Wait, no, no, wait, that's the after credits? Now I'll be sitting in her room like, and Sachiko just staring her right in the face. That's how we really be ending this, aren't we? Okay, okay.